That's interesting. It reminded me of the movie Phenomenon with John yeah. Travolta. Oh yeah. I think he's like some normal dude with like a kid or something and he starts to get real smart for some reason. Uh-huh. Uh and everybody has all these theories and they think it might be aliens and stuff. Uh-huh. But then it turns out it was cancer fucking with his brain or ah, some shit. Ah, nice. Nice. I think. Awesome. I think that's what happens in Phenomenon. Awesome. Phenomenon. There's a, that definitely sounds like a, like a 90s yeah. John Travolta movie. Yeah. Uh, do you know the 90s John Travolta movie, uh, Michael? Mm. I think is what it's called. It's about like the Archangel Michael or whatever. No. He is the Archangel Michael and he just like is in New York. And the, the thing that I always remember from it is that he's... Hi, I'm Michael, Archangel. Yeah, he's... I, I remember, like... Archangel. Is this from that, or is this from Dogma? In one of those movies, one of the angel guys is telling somebody about how he invented lines. Like, people used to just, like, aimlessly wander towards something, and he invented <laughs> the concept of a line. I think it must have been Michael, because I don't think it's... That doesn't... I don't think Ring it's a bell dogma. for dogma? Yeah. That's the thing I remember from Michael. I don't think I've seen a lot of John Travolta movies. John Travolta is ridiculous. I've John seen Travolta Pulp Fiction. Swordfish. I haven't seen Swordfish. Uh. Have you seen Grease? Yeah, I've seen Grease like yeah. a lot because of my sister. If women love Grease, do women like greasers? Do women think that greasers are... Cool. I think they like hunky greasers. <laughs> hunky greasers. They like John Travolta as a greaser. Yeah. <laughs> they like young John Travolta. Young John Travolta is like a strikingly attractive, like impossibly attractive person. Yeah. Like. Yeah, my sister would uh, just like on repeat watch Grease and, uh, what's that? Man, you just suck at this. All right. <laughs> That's just, cool, man. You just keep dying in the same way. A bunch of times. It's like you don't learn from your past experiences. Like Coach Z. <laughs> in the in the Strong Bad video game. Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played that. It's so good. It's so funny. What's that fucking Romeo and Juliet modern... Not the Leonardo DiCaprio... Romeo Must Die? I think it's... No, it's about the <laughs> gangs in New York. Uh, oh, West Side Story? Yeah. That and Grease were on repeat. Just yeah. Like, women love that shit. Women love that and women love Supernatural. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've seen Grease and Pulp Fiction. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else I would have seen that has John Travolta in it. Yep. And Phenomena. Phenomena. Who was recently telling us about how he wouldn't... It's got to be Neil, right? No, it's it's not Neil. It was Dave. It was our friend Dave. Like, won't watch certain things because they seem like chick things. Oh, yeah. He, like, he thinks he, Inuyasha is a chick He just won't watch Inuyasha because it's... It's fucking he, rad, though. He also won't watch... Um, what, what was the movie he wouldn't watch? Yeah. Because it's the chick movie. Uh... I don't know. I think there's been a lot of things recently. Yeah. It's weird. People are weird. There's like the Inuyasha movies. <laughs> but yeah, there was something else. That's for girls. You want to fuck your kid up about a lot of stuff? Tell him that some stuff is for boys and some stuff is for girls. <laughs> Tell him that. You know, Fuck if, you don't have a fucked up truck. relationship, make your wife change your name when you marry her. <laughs> I do not understand that ritual. You want to be weird in general? When you go to a baseball game and somebody's singing the national anthem, weirdly stop talking to the people you're standing next to and turn to the guy singing and put your hand over your heart solemnly until he stops and then clap. <laughs> I don't understand. 
Yeah, you saw some stickball today. I saw some stickball today, which was all right. I could see you from my building. <laughs> I think. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I saw you walking around. No, oh, did like, you? I, I, I can see the people sitting down in the you didn't see me. You, I mean, can you see me? Could you see <laughs> no, me? No. Not without like. <laughs> yeah, we got out our our binoculars. Our, Man, yeah. one of one of my coworkers had some binox that he used to like peer in on the apartments next to us or whatever. When? I don't know. Like previously. Who who was this? One of the fired guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's weird. That's pretty weird. I guess that's a thing people do, like in big, tall building they apartments. Ogle, they'll they just ogle like the hot chicken apartment 12C <laughs> or whatever. It seems like that's a thing She's that always happens bouncing in around movies, on her but... Sibian or whatever. <laughs> 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 you think she would close her blinds? When yeah, she I uses mean, she her wants Sibian. you to see. She knows you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's that that's that vibrator machine thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> that Howard Stern thing. Yeah. This is like physically impossible. Like you just have like it's it's about reaction time and you're like the worst at reaction time. I just mean like the only person the physics worst, of these tracks. The only person that I've ever met Oh, you mean like when you land on a track and you go up? Yeah. They're clearly powered rails. <laughs> so clearly. <laughs> and I can like jump yeah. in them. The only person with worse reaction time than you, I think, is my sister. <laughs> She's got like retarded reaction time. <laughs> it's like real bad. Whoa. And she's our only viewer. Damn. Hey, Halen. <laughs> how how so, are you doing? Your reaction time is bad. <laughs> so is mine. <laughs> nice. I pushed the button. Uh, you it, just, you it, just like. I pushed oh. the button. It just didn't do anything. You pushed the button. I think I pushed it too early that time. Officer, no. You pushed the button. I dropped the bomb. The bomb. All right, Trent Reznor, <laughs> cool your jets. Nine inch neck, more like. <laughs> grew his neck out. He grew his neck out. <laughs> this is my, this yeah, is my I challenge. I wanna, I wanna you gonna, this. you wanna beat this level and then we're level. done? All right. <sighs> Car two. <laughs> An auspicious <laughs> beginning. <laughs> it has been told in legend. <laughs> it has been foretold. The time has come. No, Quintilius. That's one of my favorite jokes. Calix. That's one of my favorite inside jokes of ours. <laughs> it started out in Destiny with Calix Reborn. Yeah. We were like, what do you mean Calix Reborn? <laughs> Who was Calix before? Calix. So the, joke, the joke we did was like, no, Calix, not again. <laughs> yeah. Calix, who is a big fucking sphere. Floating ball. Just a floating ball that is a robot Server. guy or whatever. And now what we do is whenever we're walking past like anthills or whatever in the real world, we're like imagining what their lives are like down <laughs> What's there. What's going on down there right now? There's like a There's guy like... Be being betrayed. <laughs> One of the queen's guard is betrayed and he's like, no, Quintilius. What have you done? What have you done? You betray your people. Come back no, to us, Quintilius. No, the queen has betrayed our people. <laughs> <laughs> you speak heresy. <laughs> they got like swords. The crimes will not stand. <laughs> <laughs> I love that like nerds have enough like fantasy stories <laughs> in our heads that we can just construct one on the fly. The Proxima Blade. <laughs> I have retrieved it. <laughs> Stand you cannot hope to face me. <laughs> Do not make me kill you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we should make this comic. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying all these comics you got to make in addition to the comic that we make. <laughs> it's like a 20 volume epic. Quintilius the Proxima <laughs> Blade. <laughs> 
That's what it's called. Quintilius and the Proxima Blade. <laughs> A story about ants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta go do this again. <laughs> That's like definitely something some indie comic guy would do is like a story. It's like a it's like a red wall kind of thing, but with, with insects. I could see that being cool. And it's basically just like a com- social commentary on the futility of human <laughs> endeavors or whatever. You know, like we think we're real important, but we're really But just we are but ants. But ants. <laughs> yeah. And then Will Smith picks you up. And you're just like, all is lost. <laughs> all is lost. And you're just like a shoelace on a on a alien's shoe. I, I love that joke at the end of every Men in Black movie. It's just like, but then it turns out they're a mole on God's butt or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> Men in Black is pretty funny. <laughs> Men in Black is super funny. He's just working out. <laughs> you telling me this girl, this little girl in the middle of the street in the middle of the night by herself? Uh-uh. <laughs> With a calculus book? Calculus book. <laughs> <laughs> That's suspicious as hell. All right. This just be raining black people in New York. <laughs> Will Smith is great. Will Smith continues to conduct himself with the utmost. Yeah. <laughs> Dopeness. <laughs> I wish he would still make raps for all his movies. He still makes raps sometimes. Yeah. Not for movies, but like, like he did like a porn video with Jada Pinkett Smith or whatever. I bet that him. would improve the. <laughs> I bet that would improve Suicide Squad. <laughs> I think he's the only good thing about Suicide Squad. Yeah. From what I've heard from people is that he's like real good in it. We have not seen it. Yeah, it, the thing that I heard about it, we'll see, you know, we'll, I'm sure we'll see it at some point, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen BVS or whatever. BVS? Batman v Superman. Oh, yeah. BV Soups, I think BV people say. BV Soups, is that what people call it? <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a thing I've heard. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, uh, I guess the thing that I heard about it was that it started out as kind of like a side movie. That wasn't supposed to be one of the main, you know, flagship movies of the DC universe, but because Batman vs Superman underperformed a little bit or whatever, probably like in the way that Destiny underperformed or whatever, they probably invested way too much money in it, and it did make a shitload of money, but just like not as big a shitload as it needed to to make up for all the insane amount of money they spent on it. Yeah, I don't even know if it's financially not a not doing all right. Like, I think it might be fine financially, actually. Yeah. But anyway, in terms like of like the critical really success poor. of it, they I think they wanted something to do really well, so they decided to try to make in late in its development, they decided to try to make Suicide Squad into like a more palatable thing or whatever. Lighthearted, humorous dark. Marvel yeah. kind of a thing. Yeah, and I think <laughs> that's the leading feels, theory is it, that like it just feels like dissonant. I mean, that's they did what, a bunch like, of reshoots and stuff or whatever. Is it like they made him do much stuff? Because the original trailers were like pretty dark or yeah. whatever. Yeah, totally. Super dark. Up at the hill. Over also, the it's kind of weird. I guess like the Joker's barely in it and they made a big Not deal really? about how Jared Leto's the Joker in it or whatever, but he's like barely in it. Eh. I wish there were more checkpoints on this level. I think that you've challenged yourself for no reason. (laughs) You gotta avoid doing that, man. You're like the king of that. (laughs) That, So listen to me. (laughs) I am the king of the thing that I'm telling you about. What is that supposed to mean? You're just furthering my point. <laughs> <laughs> don't do what I do. Don't do what I do. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know how committed I am. <laughs> I'm not committed to it at all. I don't give a fuck. But I will publicly shame you. You don't, <laughs> you don't complete this. That's okay. You have been challenged, Quintilius. In Take the ways of forms. old. <laughs> you have forced my hand, brother. The queen has forced mine. 